Today I want to talk to you guys about overgrips. Uh, these are all overgrips I've used in the past. I just want to share my personal opinion about these overgrips. Uh, just a little disclaimer, I am not receiving any money from these manufacturers, nor do they sponsor my channel. If I was to receive any form of compensation or I've gotten these grips for free, I would tell you guys ahead of time. All these grips I actually pay for my own money and these are just my honest opinions about these uh, overgrips that I want to share with you guys. So uh, without further ado. So the first overgrip I want to talk about is the Torner Grip Tape. Uh, technically not uh, an overgrip, they're more like a tape. But um, the good thing about these, uh, this particular overgrip is that it's very thin and that uh, they actually have a tacky side on the other side of it. So it actually is a tape. So it just sticks um, uh, onto your racket very easily and they don't have like those uh, lumps that you usually have from a regular overgrip. Um, and because it's, uh, like I mentioned, this overgrip is very thin, so it would not increase your uh, grip size unlike other overgrips. So if you're looking for a very thin overgrip, uh, this, is, uh, this is the one that you should look into. However, the downside of this grip is for obvious reasons because it's so thin uh, they don't really provide a lot of cushioning as with other overgrips and another downside about this grip is that they have a really, really rough surface on it and it could kind of um, I guess it's just like too rough on the hand a little bit so if you're not used to that kind of um, grip this may not be the grip for you but if you're looking for a very thin overgrip this is the one you need to look into uh, the second grip I want to talk about is the Technifiber Pro Players uh, Overgrip. This is actually the overgrip I'm using right now. Uh, the reason why I like this particular grip is because it has its uh, a tacky grip, which means that it um, it's a little bit stickier, so I can hold on to my racket uh, just better and I have a better grip on it. Uh, another good thing about this particular grip is that it has a, a fairly good cushioning. It's not as good as a cushion as some of the other grips I'm going to talk about, but overall, I really like this particular grip because of the tacky feel of it. So this is the actual grip itself. It has this um, plastic layer to it to protect the tacky side of it. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. If you peel this off, uh, and this side would be the tacky side of it. And it also has a um, like a double stick tape right here so you can tape it onto your racket uh, from the end right there. Uh, the downside for this particular grip is that, uh, like I mentioned, it has a double stick tape in the back here. Uh, this particular uh, double, double stick tape is actually very, very strong and actually damaged the original grip that I have on my racket. So uh, before applying this particular grip, I would maybe use your bare hands to touch on it a little bit so it's not so sticky to the point that it would uh, hurt your racket's original grip. The next grip I want to talk about is the Turner Grip. This is the most popular grip among professional as well as club level players. The reason why is because it pretty much does everything well in terms of sweat absorption and as well as cushioning. So if you're just new to tennis and you're not really sure what to what kind of grip you should get, uh, you should check out Turner Grip. As I mentioned, Turner Grip does pretty much everything well and it really doesn't have a downside, but if I really have to be uh, nitpicking here, there uh, are some downsizes to the Turner Grip. The first thing is that Turner Grip doesn't have a um, double stick tape at the back of their grip. So at the beginning when you're wrapping it around your racket, it could get a little difficult. But uh, if you have wrapped over grips for a while, you'll really you'll get the hang of it. So it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, again, I'm being a little bit nitpicking here, but the other uh, downsides to the Turner Grip is that it's actually uh, shorter in length than other grips. So uh, let me just show you guys right here. So um, the grip, the white grip down here is the uh, Turctifiber overgrip that I'm currently using, and on the top is the um, Turner Grip. So let's just see how much uh, difference there is. Okay, so as you can see here, again, this is just an estimate. It's about maybe uh, two to three inches shorter than a regular overgrip. So if you're using a larger uh, grip size racket, uh, there might be some issues uh, with the tech with the Turner grip to cover your entire uh, handle of your racket. 
but uh, if you're a person who um, ch changes their grip regularly and does this for a for a while, you should get a hang of it. So it's really not that big of a deal, to be honest with you. The next grip I want to talk about is the Dunlop Viper Dry uh, Ultra Dry Grip. As the name suggests, it is a grip that's uh, very dry feel. So if you're a person who has very sweaty hands, this is the grip for you. The downsides of this particular grip is actually that it's very thick. So it would actually increase, uh, from my experience, actually increase your racket size by almost uh, an entire size. But uh, if it's during summer and you sweat a lot or maybe you have sweaty hands, this is the grip that you want to use. So the last grip I want to review today is the Yonex Super Grab. A little disclaimer, this is actually my wife's overgrip, and I actually never played with this particular overgrip. However, she was kind enough to let me borrow her racket when she did have uh, this overgrip on it. And I can honestly tell you that uh, this particular overgrip has very good cushioning. And uh, in terms of uh, online reviews that I've read in the past, this particular overgrip pretty much uh, is kind of very similar to the Turner grip in the, in the sense that it does everything well and it really doesn't ha do anything uh, really poorly uh, in terms of my understanding of it. So, however, um, the two major distinctions between the Turner Grip and the Yonex Super Grip is that the Turner Grip is more of a uh, dry feel overgrip versus the Yonex Super Grip, which is a tacky feel uh, overgrip. Uh, like I mentioned before, this particular overgrip has very good cushioning. In fact, I, pro I from all the grips I've tried in the past, this is probably the best cushion overgrip there is in the market without increasing your uh, grip size. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in, uh, have an, in a grip that has very good cushioning, you should definitely consider the Yonex Super Grip.